Hey guys, what's going on? Zan Barksdale, Never Miss a Sign. And in today's video, I wanna answer one of the most common questions and show you exactly how to build an offensive wristband. So I'll go ahead and flip over to my computer screen and show you exactly what I'm looking at and once we're inside the dashboard. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and logged in into my account and I'm taken to the Generate Wristbands page. Uh, and if I wanna create an offensive uh, wristband, I can name it anything I want to. So I'm gonna call it uh, Patriots offense, and we'll call it number one, uh, just to name it again, just like a, a pitching or defense, we can change the color to whatever we want. For this example, I'll use red. We'll keep the grid size at five by five, which is 150 boxes. Uh, we'll also just use uh, one set just for this experience and this demo, just to show you how it works. Now, the only difference between an offensive wristband and a defensive wristbands are the codes that you choose to enter and what you want to put um, inside the player's wristband. So you can see the default, it's written to FBA for fastball away. All I will do is simply change this to any offensive sign. And that's one of the nice things about never miss a sign is that you can use whatever terminology your team or your organization uses inside the software. You're not restricted to use ones that I've pre-created for you. Um, so we'll go ahead and say our first sign is going to be steel. And I'm just going to call that STL and type steel right there. It's no highlighter again, just for the, the demo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a different sign. Let's add a sacrifice bunt. We'll call it sack sacrifice bunt. If we want to highlight this one uh, yellow, we can do that again, just for the, uh, just for the purpose of this demo. And then I'm going to add one more sign. Again, this is just to show you how it works. Uh, if I want to add a hit and run, so I'd add a H and R, hit and run. And again, you can use whatever signs you want with whatever plays you have. You can use first and third uh, offenses. You can use safety squeezes, sacrifice bunts, um, hit away, take. Whatever you want to put on this, you definitely can. And just like uh, the other wristbands, you can move the slider. If maybe a hit and run is not very big in your program and you don't need as many of them on the card, we can just move the slider um, down there. Um, and then I'll go ahead and add one more sign. Uh, we'll just call it TK Take. And again, these are perfectly uh, fine for the demo, but however you, however you communicate with your team, the terminology that you use, I'd recommend you use right here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just click Submit, and that'll take us to the next screen where it's going to manage our wristbands. And if we want to print off uh, a copy of that wristband that we just created, uh, we can do that, and we'll find Patriots Offense down here at the bottom. So I'm going to open it, and this is where I'll be able to uh, print the, the player card or the coach's card. If I want to change the size, maybe I want to change it to 2.875 with a width of four inches. I can change the size there. And then as I download uh, the player wristband, then we'll see, um, uh, we'll see it come up, loads pretty quickly. And this is the signs just like we have. So our sacrifices, our steals, uh, our takes, and we have hit and runs on there as well. Uh, so I'll flip back over here, download the coach card. Again, just to show you how it would work, the player would be wearing the, the player's card. The coach would have this with him. You can see sacrifice we highlighted in yellow as an indicator. Hit and run. So if I want to call a hit and run, I can call 014. That's our first one. And if we look at 014, you see hit and run right there. So using it for offense is absolutely simple and easy to use. Uh, you enter the, the signs that you use with your team using the terminology that your team is used to. You put it on the wristbands and then you call the plays and that's really about all there is to it. So again, it's great for offense or defense. It's super customizable however you want to use it and however it works best for you. Um, is what you should do. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at zan at nevermissassign.com. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.